Hello, trail travelers, and uh, maybe some tribe trailer owners out there. This is Carrie, and you've seen this beast before. This is our tribe trailer overland base camp. We've had it, I don't know, about two and a half years now, and we have absolutely loved this trailer. But this season, uh, we're going into winter time right now, and we're going to do some changes to it. And some of them are gonna be simple, some of them are gonna be a little bit more difficult, but they're all gonna make our camping experience a little bit better out there. So one thing we've already done and we've shown it before is the Gasland water heater. Absolute game changer on the trail to have hot waters for showers. Absolutely love it. Next up is this guy right here. Now, if you remember our trailer before, we had a Tough Stuff Overland Alpha 2. And that is a great tent. We highly recommend that tent. Uh, it's got tons of room, way more room than we need. It's just two of us and our dog. So it, it, is a, it was a big tent and it started to have a couple problems. The corners uh, started cracking because it's a plastic shell. And uh, we, we just, we wanted something a little bit different. Another kind of issue for us anyway, with the Alpha 2, is it folded out like this and there was just this big opening with a, a rain guard on it well if we had to park a certain way and the wind was coming in this way it would feel like it was going to close up on us i mean it would really start rocking the boat and a couple times we strapped it down with ratchet straps to make sure that it was secure and we just wanted something that was made a little bit uh differently that could handle the winds a little bit better. And we decided to go with the Alpine 61. Now a little backstory here, this is a tribe trailer overland base camp, which originally was part of Tough Stuff Overland. That's why some of my badging on here still says Tough Stuff Overland on it. But uh, now they're done by tribe trailer. They spun off as their own business. Now this thing has some really cool features. Uh, first off, it's 61 inches across at the widest point, 89, uh, I believe 89 and a half from front to back, weighs about 275 pounds. So I don't suggest you trying to put this on a rack by yourself. We had four guys, it went super easy. It's got T slots here on the bottom as well as the top. And uh, it comes with this uh, roof rack on here. So you can mount different things on top. I'm probably gonna have traction boards or something else. Um, we're gonna figure out some, some ways of utilizing the space and these T-slots. Now these uh, connectors here, there's actually these two on this side, on the other side and on the back, and that is how the ladder connects. So you can actually enter the tent from three different sides, which I think is super, super cool. Uh, most tents only have one entrance. This has three. So it's got gas struts to help hold it in place. And this is what is a dual wedge design. So as you see, when I open it, we can open one side and just crawl in real quick and get in there, get out of the elements, or we can open the other side as well. And it just becomes a tall square. So we're going to get it opened, uh, go through it with you, show you the inside, show you some features of it and uh, see how roomy this thing is. Let's get going. Now the ladder even has its own storage bag, which I think is pretty cool. And you can actually keep the ladder inside here when everything is closed up. Right now I have it out just because I've been doing some work on it. We'll connect it on there, pretty easy. And it has these little carabiners for some safety to keep it from coming off. And we'll just release the Velcro. Boom, done. Okay, the ladder's in place. Flip the latches off. And up she goes. So it's got a little strap around it to keep tucking things in as you close it up. Now let's go to the other side, open up the front and get this thing fully open. All right, we just unlatch it. And hopefully it's just that easy. Cool. Well, 
Well, we are now sitting inside of the Alpine 61. Um, sitting, sitting up, I got nice clearance above my head so I can easily, uh, I mean, maybe not super easily, but I can change clothes in here. I can get dressed in here. It's not gonna be that big of a problem. But I wanna show you some of the features inside of the Alpine 61 because I think, and it's gonna go the same for both of the Alpine sizes. We just happen to have the 61. So uh, let's start with the uh, doors. Um, so the doors, all three doors, the sides and the front, have a mesh covering as well as the blackout curtains. And you'll see uh, later on just how black it can actually get in here. So we have that. Then these side panels here, these are also windows. So we can unzip them, open them up. Let's see, I think it starts over here. So we can let a tremendous amount of light and, and air into here if we wanted to. So that's kind of cool that there's just so much. So it's just cool that there's just so much available uh, light inside of the tent. You can really open it up or you can really darken it up. So let's take a look down here. We have these, looking down here, we have pockets on both sides, plenty of storage in here. And I'm gonna turn around here and hopefully look up. And we have overhead storage up here. There's six different pockets. One of them's clear. So put in your phone, glasses, things like that up out of the way that they're not gonna be bothered. Any cables that you might need for different things, really handy for that. Now in the back corner here, is this pocket that has a USB cable in it. Now I've just dropped a little power brick in here for the time being, and this is for this light strip that goes across. It's lit up when there's power, turn it on, and then we have adjustable up and down brightness inside of here. So nice and dark, just keep a power pack on here and you're ready to go. Now this is the mattress. It's a nice memory foam. It actually has a cover on it, so if you need to wash it, you can actually pull the mattress out and clean it. Underneath that is another, uh, not really sure what to call this, this honeycomb material. And uh, that's probably gonna keep you up off the bottom because um, that is aluminum, so you don't wanna lose body heat down in here, as well as the nuts and bolts tearing up that fabric from the mattress. So it probably serves several purposes. Uh, I said condensation, keeping you away from the metal and uh, protecting that mattress from those sharp edges. But the mattress, even though it uh, seems you know, pretty thin at like, I think it's two and a half or 2.75 inches, it's, uh, it's closer to three inches. It is very comfy. <laughs> and last but not least, it includes two shoe bags. Not exactly sure where they go. They've got this uh, tube system on them. So they either go inside of here or hanging on the outside. Not exactly sure where they go yet, but we'll figure it out because you don't want to be bringing in your dirty shoes into your tent. We've got three of the four sides buttoned up right now. All that's left is to close this one behind me. And we'll, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Well, other than a couple spots with some tiny little light leaks on it, this thing is pretty damn dark in here. So the light on my face is from the screen on my camera. Otherwise, it is just pitch black in here. Oh, I love it. I don't know how you'll ever wake up in here if you have this thing blacked out, but pretty stinking cool. Now, this is a double size mattress. 
and it feels like a double-sized mattress and we'll uh, get to use it here on some upcoming trips. We'll see how well it holds up. We'll see how well it goes together and, and tears back down. But I wanted to give you an overview of it now and just kind of show you some of the cool features of it and what we're looking forward to having on our upcoming trips. The only thing we found that seems a little bit odd is the door and it attaches on the bottom so it kind of covers the top of the ladder. It'd be nice if it was attached to the top so when you want to get in and out you just unzip it and then work your way out. That's the way the Alpha 2 tent was. This uh, you're going to have to kind of like roll up inside so you don't uh, get it on top of the ladder. But aside from that, there's a lot to like about the Alp Alpine tent. Now, one thing that we have not liked about either rooftop tent is the ladder. <laughs> and it's because the rungs are just at a bad angle. If they were more flat when it's deployed, it wouldn't be so bad. But because they tilt forward when it's at an angle, this edge right here cuts into your feet. So going up and down barefoot is very painful. So you're either wearing shoes or flip-flops or something to get in or out, or what we did, and we bought these quite a while ago from 230. These are simply neoprene covers and they just go right over. Done. Makes it way, way more comfortable to go in and out. Now, I'm not sponsored by Tough Stuff Overland. I'm not sponsored by 230. So all of this stuff is our own opinions and everything based on what we wanted to get. So we're very happy with the tent. It has a lot of features that we still need to kind of figure out. It has things like this. You know, is this going to be the normal way we get in and out? Is it going to be on the side? We also have a 270 degree awning that's going to go on here. So when that's open, we won't be able to get in on this side if we leave the awning open overnight. So we're going to have to deal with that as well. So let's go around to the side and wrap things up. Well, that is our new Tough Stuff Overland Alpine 61. Now, there's also a smaller version. If you don't need it quite so wide, there's a, a slightly smaller version. And uh, I did put the rain cover out on this. It does come with rain covers for both windows. They also come in their own little bag here. So you could have rain covers on all three sides. Uh, these sections up here are also windows. So they're covered right now. You can open those from the inside, let tons of light in, or make it pitch black, whatever you prefer. Right now, we're really happy with it. We can't wait to get this thing out and sleep in it. The mattress is comfy. Um, there's even kind of a little support system underneath the mattress, which helps with condensation and it gives you just a tiny little bit more support. But overall, uh, I think we are really going to enjoy this tent and being a better structure, better cover and everything, all this aluminum, I think it's going to hold up for many years. So have any questions, let us know in the comments. We're happy to uh, either answer them or get the answers for you. But I think it's time to uh, get her put away and get ready to put the awning on. I'm just waiting for some parts to be fabricated to make it a, a much better, more secure fit. Um, but, oh, in case you were wondering, it does have a T-rail underneath, and I just mounted it using the hardware that came with the, uh, the trailer itself, which bolted right into that. And I'll show you some close-ups of some of the things on here. But Tough Stuff Overland, Alpine 61, we're really excited. Now, while you can keep the rain covers and the ladder inside when you close it, we're actually gonna keep those in this top storage shelf here. That way we can have more of our bedding inside ready to go. And if the ladder starts getting dirty or whatever, 
we don't have to worry about cleaning it off before putting it in. We can just put it inside. So it's pretty much ready to go and close up. Let's see how long this takes. And we're not doing a time lapse. Now you do want to make sure you have these straps here. It does help pull everything in. I'm just going to pull it down and before I make sure it's all the way down, I'm just going to make sure everything's tucked in. And just let it fall into place. Nice, clean. And she's ready to go. And these even have holes in them on both sides so you can put padlocks. We're ready to go hit the road.